Hey guys, welcome back to a new video which is about styling texts in Jetpack Compose and let's see under what studio this is the app we are going to build it has of course a text and as you can see different parts in this text has different styles for example here we have a shadow and this blue color or primary color this part is red and it has an underline and the last part is black and also it has a line through so in the same text we can have different lines and we'll see how you can do this apply different styles to your text and make it look the way you want it to look like so let's get started okay the first thing we want to do is just let's create a simple text and this for example write some text is written and a yes at the end and then maybe i have a typo here yes so as you can see it's a normal text nothing is special about it let's start it a little bit Let's, for example, give it a different color. So let's say color, it is material theme dot color scheme dot primary. So let's go for primary. That's how we can change the color. And then if you want to change the font, all we can do is go here to our resources file or folder and then paste the color we want inside. I mean, the font we want inside font here, uh, just like XML. And then actually we need to go to make this font, for example, the font that we want to use all the time, we can go right here to type and then declare a new font here by just writing var font is equal to font family and then font r dot our font. Let's import r, our font, which is the one that we pasted this one. We can give it a weight if we want, so font weight it is going to be, for example, normal. So if you want to give it a weight and then maybe we don't need these in the app, all we need to do is that we want to define this one to be our font of the app. So passing it like this and then any text that we write will be written in that font specifically. And now let's run the app. The font should be changed. As you can see now, it is written in a different font, which is the one that we pasted in. We don't have to define fonts. If we don't want to make this font our global font of the app, we can just define it normally and then let's do control Z here. Now it won't be the global font, but we need to define the font here. So font family is equal to font. This one, of course, that I defined it right here. But in my case, I usually like to have a font that is used in the entire app. That's why I prefer using it like this. Unless I want some text to be written in a different font than I specifically def define that that text should be written in this font, but this is how I, I love to use it. And here we can give our font, uh, for example, a weight, so font weight, and then we can go for, for example, bold, like this. And if we run the app, we'll see if it's up if it updates or not. Yes, now it's updated to bold. I don't know if it's going to live update, but we can go for extra bold. Nope, it doesn't update. Actually, I need to rerun the app to update it. Now it's in extra bold. I can give it a size, so font size, not style. Let's start with size first. And for example, 22.sp. So to give our text size, we use sp, but to give normal composable size, we use dp like this, as they had a spacer here. I can give it a max lines. For example, max lines can be one or two, depends on what I want. Let's not care about that. You can give it a style by writing font style is for example italic we can go for italic and as you can see it's now italic and i can give it some decoration by writing text decoration is text decoration dot underline to have a line through i mean and we can give it an underline like this which was actually not quite easy to do in xml but now it's easy as you can see now it has an underline and to give it a shadow we need to create first an offset so var shadow of course the offset in which we want the shadow to be shown in and then we want to define the x and y positions of our offset so let's go for example 5f and 10f like this to give it a shadow we need to pass a style first that is going to be a text style and now we can give it a shadow as you can see that is going to be shadow and then we need to define the color of our shadow for example let's go for color dot gray and then the offset can be offset or shadow offset and then we can give our shadow a blur for example for example 9f like this and uh, to just tell what these are this is color and this is offset let's bring them to different lines and this is 
blur radius like this. So now we give our text a shadow. If we want to change the offset, for example, let's write 55 here. As you can see, the shadow is off like this, but this is how it looks better. We can increase the radius, for example, let's write 49, as you can see how it looks like now. Let's make it 19 like this or anything that we want. We can use a different color like red, for example. As you can see, we have a red shadow. So yes, let's go for gray. That looks great. And we have actually different other things. We don't only have these like letter spacing, text align, overflow, for example, if you want, if our text exceeds the boundaries and then we want to add three dots at the end, we can do that. Let's actually try doing it, for example. And then let's give it only a one line, so max line to be one. So if, if we exceed the boundaries, we can't add more text. And to fix this, we can use this overflow by just writing overflow is text overflow dot ellipsis and then let's add more text here as you can see it ends with three dots if we uh, exceed the boundaries so let's actually delete that we don't want it anyway now what we are going to create is annotated text and also we have more things like this soft wrap you can just try this out let's just space in and text online actually text online will see that so Let's apply our modifier to our text like this modifier and then let's fill the max width. We can now align our text by using text align and then text align dot center or end. So it now goes to the end or start just as we want to. So how this is how we align our text and yes. Now we are going to see annotated text. So annotated text is, for example, we want this some text in a color is written in a different color. Yes, in a different style. So different parts in our text with different styles. For that, we're not going to just write our text directly like this. We are going to use a build annotated string like this. And then we can start with just writing the text is written by writing append and then text is written like this now this text is written that we appended here uses this style but then we want to append another text that is this creates here some space and that is delete this written here and let's have it in this one so it's written we want to append this but we want this one with a style its own style that's why we can use now with style and then passing our span style like this now and then we want to have this one this append inside this text style now we can create our own style here. For example, the color to be red. So color dot red, as you can see. And then since this one has an underline, let's give this one a line through. So text decoration dot not underline, but line through. As you can see, now it has a line through. We can give it a bigger size. For example, font size is, let's say, 30.sp. Now it's bigger. If we want this shadow, for example, to be only in text as and we don't want that shadow in this one, we can just take it from here like this and then use a width style for this one as well. Pass in a span style and then add our shadow like this and then let's put this text is there. So as you can see now, only this one has that shadow, this one doesn't. We can create more space here. And as we create space, of course, this line also gets taller, but that doesn't matter. Now we want, for example, to add a new text that is at the end. So let's append a new text that is yes, like this. And then we want this yes to have a different style. Then we can just do the same. We can use this text style with it. So let's write that text or with text, I mean style, span style. And then let's create some space here. Let's, for example, give it a text decoration to be line through or underline. Let's leave it at underline as we already had in there. But if you want to remove this one from here, we can. And then use an underline in this one. So text decoration dot underline dot underline like this. As you can see, this one has a line through, this one an underline, this one nothing because we didn't specify anything for it. We can make this one even bigger font size let's say 50.sp .sp now it's way bigger we can give it a different color we can do anything with it and we can style different parts of our text 
and that's how you style text and make them look the way you want and this is it also for this video see you in the next video and bye